Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekend bonus read from Friday the 13th to Sunday the 15th of March 2020. I hope you're all well. This is for all signs as usual, so it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave the rest. So I hope you're all looking forward to the weekend. I am using the Druid Tarot deck to pull an overarching tarot card today. It's a little larger than usual, but I don't really like shuffling the other way. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready. Ooh. Okie dokie, we have the devil. We've got a toxic relationship here. An unhealthy relationship. A relationship that's gone sour. Queen of Cups is, is love. Can be to do with relationships. I certainly feel for some of you this is... Sometimes the devil can talk about that addictive relationship as well. You know when you know someone just isn't right for you but you just can't get off that treadmill with them? That can feel like this energy as well. You just can't let go. Um, it is that addictive, codependent relationship, all of this kind of thing. Sometimes you can feel powerless with that devil energy to break free of it. Um, it is an illusion. Sometimes we give our power to somebody else. It can talk about power struggles, um, uh, an uneven power dynamic within relationships. Or somebody who just isn't probably good for you. And you might know it because there's a lot of intuitive energy that goes with the Queen of Cups. But, yeah, I just feel that this is what it's talking about here. Might resonate for some of you. Okay, what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message, please, for the weekend that people need to hear? See, we have source. This is um, spirit, the universe, the divine. You're being asked to trust your intuition. That's what I was feeling with the Queen of Cups in order to step into your light. I see the light, maybe, as well. Interesting. I'm going to pull one more card. Freedom. You need to liberate yourself from whatever this is. And I think some of you already know that deep down. There's a lot of intuitive energy that's around this reading. You're being told to break free, liberate yourself from something that isn't healthy anymore. You know, this is a beautiful card as well. Um, you know, we've got the wild horses here. This can be internal freedom. One of them is external freedom as well. So it is letting go within and also in your external environment physically. I think there is a change for some of you on the cards. We'll see what else we get. Okay. Okay. What do we have, angels? What is the message, please, for all signs for the weekend? <clears throat> We have in the near future, there is liberation from something toxic in your life. You know, the Queen of Cups is a great card of self-love as well. It is that point in time where you may love somebody else, but you love you more. And I just feel that there is some kind of change that is happening here. Or it might well be you just want to get out of this negative, difficult, unhealthy relationship. You want liberation. You want to move towards um, a new chapter. I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah. 
I, I feel that that might be agreed between you or it might well be that you're making peace with a situation that just isn't right for you. Either way, I think somebody is liberating themselves from this energy. They're breaking free. Sometimes with the devil, you may have found that you go back. It's kind of like that cycle. Like I said, it's that addictive relationship where you get off the roundabout, you go back on the roundabout, you get off the roundabout, you go back on it. And I do feel for some of you that it is about breaking that cycle, breaking the cycle of what you're experiencing. Okay, so two cards that have come out. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the Sun. Yes, some of you are seeing the light, stepping into your light. There's letting go with the Sun energy as well, which is interesting. Eight of Wands, lovely. We have the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Emperor, absolutely taking control. And I'm going to pull one more for the Five of Cups. Five of Wands. What's this one? Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I love this card coming out. Card of Capricorn, which is the Devil. And the Four of Swords. And I'm going to start with this energy. So the Four of Swords can be a card of recovery from conflict. Some of you maybe have gone through some conflict in this unhealthy relationship. Um, or you might have been conflicted. But this is where you're getting your head around a situation and understanding how to move forward. It is a really lovely energy. There is full clarity. It can be a card of recharge and getting your breath back, healing or recovering from a situation. But in that time, you are getting perspective. You are seeing things clearly and understanding how to move forward. You might well be you're deciding how to move on in a situation or you are deciding um, how to deal with the situation because this person is getting clarity on how to go back and win the battle. He's a knight. So he's taking a breather and he's going to go out and, and he's re-strategizing in order to, re to win the battle. So I feel for some of you that this hasn't been an easy time. Seven of Wands is that challenge card, but you see this person there in a higher position than the people that are challenging them. You are getting the higher ground in the situation because this is somebody who is standing in their power. So you feel that this person is definitely going to conquer the challenge they face. And why did I say I like the Queen of Pentacles? Because she understands how to dance with the devil. She is the Capricorn Minor Arcana of the devil, who is the main Major Arcana. Um, so this is somebody who says, now is the time to focus your practical skills, your knowledge, your experience, all of this kind of energy. Do one thing at a time. Use that focus, practical ability that you have to bring real success into your life. Um, she is surrounded by abundance and success. Some of you might be focusing on your career. She can be an opportunity. All the energy that understands how to bring success into their life. So she's saying that you have everything that you need, the practical abilities to bring success into your life. But I feel this is also understanding how to deal with that devil energy because this is about being resolute, staying on track, staying focused to overcome the challenge that you face as well. And that's how she dances with the devil by not allowing this kind of energy and this kind of energy to pull her off track. The fives are really destructive energy. You know, this is emotional distraction. I mean, this can be a card of loss, looking back rather than forward. Uh, this can talk about lost relationships, um, in feeling emotional loss in some way as well. You know, this can be about bickering, conflict, struggle. I feel whatever this is, this person just doesn't know how to look forward emotionally. And this is just something that goes round and round and round this struggle. And it's like that treadmill, like I said. The Queen of Pentacles says in order to get off that treadmill, in order to get off that roundabout, you need to focus your practical skills, knowledge, experience. Stay on track. 
remember the path that you're going down because there is great value at the end of it but you have to just stay on track if you fall off the path that is when you fall prey to that great instability the devil this is a huge instability card it is a card of um, cycles you know just going round and round in circles addictive relationships all of this kind of energy this is very much about staying focused on finish what you started one step, one step at a time. Yeah. I feel if you do, I mean, this is good because we have the sun energy. The sun is, I mean, it is a card of, of putting something behind you, overcoming the limitations that you will find with that Saturnian energy associated with the devil. In a way, this is breaking the barrier. Sometimes you see the child and a horse in this card and they're almost kind of like walking through a wall and that wall represents limitations boundaries restrictions that you place on yourself or that other people place on you and remember this is the Saturnian energy the devil card and I feel for some of you this is very much about breaking through or walking past or pushing through to the other side of a situation and putting it behind you this is a card of good news celebration joy new growth it is also a card of new paths as well in a way uh, because you see the sun is number 19 obviously you put one and nine together it makes 10 which brings to one so you can see there is some kind of like new phase of your life that is opening up for you when you break the cycle and I certainly feel that there is absolutely reasons to celebrate because when the sun comes out everything begins to grow it is a card of material success as well for those of you focusing having gone through a difficult relationship refocusing on your money and your finance and your career you know this is a really good sign of reasons to celebrate you know that queen of one queen of pentacles could be an offer or an opportunity that you get offered above the competition and there will be a reason to celebrate this is new growth this is a new path this is everything becoming clear from the illusion energy of the devil everything is becoming clear this is step into your light and this is divine energy as is the source card you are being guided on this journey you know I love this energy because the Emperor is now is the time to take control now is the time for you to be in your power because when you do that is when you take the initiative take action to bring real change into your life and the eight of wands is change now there may well be an Aries offering you an opportunity it could be an Aries in your life who is a new connection as well maybe something unexpected or a conversation that brings that uh, morphs to a solid relationship or solid opportunity it could be something new there's a level of the unexpected or out of the blue of the eight of wands um, so I feel for some of you that when you take action when you take control of a situation when you stand in your power and don't see the Emperor is completely opposite to the devil the devil is somebody who we give our power to the Emperor is somebody in their power he doesn't share it and this is about taking control opening yourself up to new opportunities new connections some conversation may lead to a solid opportunity here as well um, something that brings positive change new growth this can also involve travel for some of you as well but it is absolutely beautiful there is such potential with the eight of wands and there's a real positive shift um, that comes and I just think it all comes when you allow yourself to break free of whatever this was <coughs> there is some indecision here sometimes it can be someone want, not wanting to see the truth someone being stuck because they're not facing up to the truth of a situation like I said I don't think this is always an easy, easy decision where emotions are involved it is sometimes difficult to make a decision but this is about trusting your instincts from within what are your instincts telling you because that's the path you should take
it is hard work but I think this is somebody who is bringing greater value in their life, greater solidity, greater reward into their life. Some of you might be going back to college, some of you might be going back to study in order to get advanced in the professional career, more responsibility, more money, uh, more security, all of this kind of thing. Uh, this could be a card of study as well, but it's also a card of hard work. This person is working hard and I almost feel like you're working through a situation, doing the practical things to work through a situation to bring positive change in your life. Because it's the Sun in Virgo card. It is a line from within, without. It's the Hermit from within. By focusing on the practical, mundane things in your external world, you're actually changing your energy from within. So this echoes with the Queen of Pentacles quite nicely. It is the wake-up call. Step into your light. That's the third card that is asking you to do that now. It is time to release the old. There is Pluto energy associated with this card. Death, destruction, transformation, rebirth. And I feel it is allowing whatever this is to end in order for you to step into your new path, your new light. Because when you do, there are reasons to celebrate. And there's powerful karma around you now. Um, po positive karma. So you're being asked to step into your light, let go of old baggage, old hurts, old wounds, um, unhealthy attachments, old patterns, all of this kind of thing. A big message now of it is time to step into your light. And it's the wake up call, Angel Gabriel. So, powerful message for some of you, and obviously with the horses we have a wonderful liberation. I'm going to pull a fairy card to finish off the reading. What is the message please, Angel Spirits Guides? What do people need to hear? Yeah, I, lo I love this. Um, because I do feel that when we allow ourselves to break free of something that hasn't been particularly good for us, that's when we feel that sense of fresh air, that excitement, that adrenaline, that inspiration for the new chapter. And I certainly feel that that is a great energy to feel. I'm going to pull one more. Now, this devil energy, I mean, I'm seeing the Queen of Cups. But, you know, I mean, with the cards on the table, it might well be that some of you have had difficulty in whatever relationship, whatever area of your life. But this is absolutely saying it is time to get back on track. And you do that by really focusing one step at a time brings giant leaps. I say that a lot in my readings. Um, ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance because you are absolutely being told now is the time to step into your light and let go of, you know, this is breaking karmic cycles. I will say this, it is breaking unstable karmic cycles. This is karma and I just feel you need to get off that roundabout. Yeah. Judgment is when something is drawing to a close as well. I will say that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful weekend for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.